Coops. We're about to uh, leave for Tembe. Little uh, little road trip. Any Coops? Coops. Absolutely fuming. Creme brulee frappuccino for the road. All right, welcome to episode seven. Uh, we are travelling to Tembe. Um, so we're about well, 30, 40 minutes away, I think, at the moment. And I say we, myself, Coop's in the back. He's absolutely fuming. And then um, Carly's behind the camera. So. It is Friday the 17th of September. It's not, it's not. It's, it's, that's when the event is. That's for that weekend. So it's Friday the 17th of May. And my birthday was on Tuesday. So um, Carly's kindly bought a weekend away um, to where we, roughly where we're going to be staying in September. So we're going to check out the whole of like Tembe where we're going to be based, um, where the start of the, the, the event is. Check out some of the cycle route tomorrow. So the bike's in the back of the car. Um, we're going to test the route out for a little bit, just two or three hours of the route. Um, the cycle route goes past where we're staying this weekend, so I'm just going to jump onto the route where it starts and just kind of ride through a little bit of that. And then tomorrow, oh sorry, Sunday, uh, we're a little bit far away from the run, probably what it looks like. Uh, but we're going to drive into the centre and then uh, I'll pick up the run and we'll do like an hour, hour and a half, um, just a steady, steady pace, just to sort of check out what the sort of conditions that we're going to be running are. So um, but it's a nice chance to sort of get familiar with where we're going to be staying the area what the course and the trains like that kind of stuff um, haven't got a wetsuit so uh, we're gonna try and brave the sea um, in a pair of like swimming shorts so um, hopefully that's gonna be okay it's not gonna be too cold but we can test out that as sort of the first time sea swimming so we'll see what that's like um, I'm okay in the pool generally just of, of having a swimming background but never done a sea swim so we're told a few things to look out for um, we're going to test it out. So uh, we've got about four minutes after the journey. It's been glorious sunshine all all day, and then as you just seen, it started to come down and rain. But it's a bit intermittent. But it's meant to be really nice the weekend. 18, 19, 20 degrees, all sunshine all day. So it should be some really nice conditions. Plus, it's a nice chance to sort of explore Tembe as a bit of a, a bit of a weekend getaway. So um, yeah, come along and uh, hopefully enjoy the hopefully enjoy the video. So this is um, where we're staying. Is um, is up there somewhere? Like we can't quite see. It's behind those trees, but um, it's right on the bike course. So we've seen a few sort of cyclists going backwards and forwards on, the, on that path. But um, there's a massive, massive hill, um, which is sort of the guy who we're staying with, him and his wife. They've both said that the course is very, very hilly, very, very up and down, uh, and very difficult. So his mate did it last year. He said it was a glorious, it was an amazing day. So it was a bit like today's sort of sunny day. Um, but he said, he's, uh, he said he was 10 minutes under the finishing time of the whole of it, which I think is like about 17 hours. Uh, but he said he was like six foot five, 19 stone. So he's had a lot of weight to lug around. Um, but yeah, if the sea, I mean, this looks amazing. So the, the beach we're actually swimming on is not this one. It's kind of round, further round uh, by about 10 kilometers, I think the, the other way. Um, so it's not too far away, but we're going to try. I might swim in here on Sunday, um, or if time allows, we'll go to the other one. Um, but yeah, if the sea if if is that calm, then it's um, it's going to be really, really nice to sort of uh, to do that. It's going to be really, like, really calm swimming. So, um, but this beach is incredible. It looks really, really nice, really calm. Cooper's loving it over there. So I felt really nervous coming here today. Um, because I think uh, it made it a little bit more real and actually seeing it and seeing the roads we're going to be on. Um, it's not like just going for a ride locally in you know, Bromsgrove, Kidderminster, whatever. Um, it's a bit more real. So that kind of like made me a little bit nervous, I suppose, but also calmed me down at the same time. Um, and just sort of seeing where we're at. So it looks good so far. 
but say the beach looks really nice and hopefully the sea is, is that still and that calm come September. I don't know if you can get this, but this hill, if this is an example, I might just, if, does, that, does that give you any example of what this hill's like? It's pretty hefty. It's a little insight into what's coming on the bike on the run, I think. morning just uh, got back from the bike ride this morning parked the bike here um, it is about half nine I think this morning uh, left about seven um, this morning to do a ride just to sort of jump on the course so where we are at the moment um, the course I mean look at the morning oh, absolutely amazing um, so yeah where we are the course is kind of like five minutes that way so it's really easy to jump on the course and then just kind of follow the path. So I put it on my watch before I came a few weeks ago and then um, sort of rid, rode up. So yeah, where we are at the moment, um, the course is kind of like five minutes that way. So. It's really just, just to ride up to the main road, jump on the course, and just kind of go either direction. So I wasn't sure which way to go. So I went towards, I put doing the course in reverse. So I went to, towards Tenby, where we went last night. So obviously going through where all the transition pieces and the start and the main sort of center of the, the, the town, if you want to call it that. Uh, went up there and then did a little route through there. And there's some beautiful country roads. And it's, it's hard not to take your time and just look at the scene because it is amazing. It is just absolutely lovely um, so I went through Tenby um, did a little kind of little cut back on, on myself and then uh, jumped back on the red line I'd already been down there was a group of cyclists so I jumped in behind them they soon left me um, and then cycled on my own for a little bit more um, and we were going down towards uh, what was Barrafondal Bay if you haven't been there we went there last year it's absolutely amazing um, which is I think somewhere over that way it's somewhere kind of over there somewhere um, but yeah um, another group of cyclists came past I, I rode with them for 10 minutes or whatever and they soon left me um, which seems to be the problem I don't seem to be able to keep it with a group which I don't know what, don't know what the problem is there um, but it's a really nice ride so I think we did just about 2 hours 15 2 hours 16 uh, it was about 50 kilometers I think um, really enjoyed that ride it was really really nice um, and what's nice is I think the roads are going to be, I presume the roads are going to be shut, which is going to be even better. So the thing that I'm more nervous about is the, the main roads rather than like, you know, in the town, rather than the country road, where it's a little bit quieter. And the beauty of getting up in, in the morning and doing it at sort of seven in the morning, it's just, it's very, very quiet, which is really nice. So yeah, I went down to, uh, on the way towards Barrafundal Bay, there's, um, there's a big hill that you kind of roll down. You have to go up this hill first, obviously, and you come back down it. Um, and on the way down, I hit like a little kink in the road and then the chain popped off. So it was the first time having a bit of a, a bike miss a malfunction, um, but I soon put it back on. And then um, I was in the dip of two hills. So I had to sort of carry on, just jump on the bike, get in a, like a, is it a high gear or low gear? I'm not too sure, but then kind of get back up and um, start riding again. So went as far as I thought I, would, I could go and I turned back and then came back again. The bike ride today was meant to be about two and a half hours uh, with like a five minute, uh, like high heart rate thing um, so I turned back round and then where we are at the moment we're on top of a hill and I didn't realise there's a sign at the bottom of the hill that said this hill's like 15% gradient 
and it was brutal. So that got me into that high heart rate for the last few minutes. Um, but yeah, the plan is now, because it's only half, well, quarter to 10 now, the plan is to um, get showered, head out, and uh, go out and have a little explore. So the, the coastal walk we're gonna do, there's a castle down the way as well, so we can have a little wander down there. And then the pub we couldn't get into last night, we're gonna go there for some dinner tonight as well. So, uh, and then tomorrow, the plan is to do either a beach swim, which is a beach down here, which is really nice. Um, it's not the beach I'm gonna be swimming at, but it's still the same sea, isn't it? So, um, and then uh, a run as well. So I'll probably do the run early morning. Uh, and I wanna drive up, up towards Tenby, so I might drive to where the run is and just kind of run around the streets there um, just follow the path so yeah either way that's gonna be nice um, but it's just stunning I look here is just absolutely incredible just scenery is amazing I'm gonna have a hard time not just looking at the scenery uh, on the bike ride and the run um, but yeah let's, uh, let's get some food and let's head out for the day so yeah so the 19th of May it is uh, 8.30 this morning um, I've got up at this I've got up early this morning actually because we've got to be out by 10 so showered breakfast tidy up and whatever so i headed out about i got up about five headed to tenby which is about a 20 minute drive from here and then um i loaded the the iron man uh, marathon course into my watch and just thought i'd do a, like a, a 10k or a, an hour or so um around the route there so i just picked it up where i parked and went through there but it was amazing <laughs> so good sunday morning obviously just empty no traffic quiet a couple of people watching the sunrise that had already been up that i, I kind of missed um, I tried to get there a little bit early to take some photos and a little bit of a, get the drone up or whatever. Uh, I managed to do that, but a little bit after because um, the seagulls were kind of flocking around the drone. Um, so I thought, right, let's just land that before we fly up. So, but anyway, yeah, so. All right, Carly Bear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, this morning was, uh, like I say, an hour, 10K or so, um, just to kind of get an idea of the route, but it's going to be amazing. I imagine that street lined with people. Or the streets along with people um it's gonna be fantastic i cannot wait and uh, if it's a day like again like we had this weekend apart from yesterday afternoon which tipped it down if it's a day like today it'll be incredible so um there was, a, there was i was running through one of the streets <clears throat> and there was a couple of lads that sort of shouted keep going and uh they said are you doing the iron man as i was running they said are you doing the iron man and i said yeah i'm doing the iron man um and they said it's gonna be they went it's gonna be effing epic um, they said it's really good so um, that was as I was running so if that's just two people shouting from their rooftop then it's going to be great with a street line of people but anyway yeah it's 8.30 so we've got to be out by 10 so I'm going to get some we're going to get some breakfast shower tidy up whatever and then we're going to head out so um, hope you enjoyed this video if this isn't the end of it if there's anything more uh, we'll come back in but if not if you hope you've enjoyed the video uh, we're going to try and get back here at some point because it's really really nice one it's just a lovely area anything around this 10B Pembrokeshire is just amazing. So, um, keeps us absolutely fuming. Hold on, look at this one. You want to say anything, Coops? No? See you later then. But anyway, that's it, guys. Hopefully, you've enjoyed the video. Uh, we'll check in on the next one.